A day after resigning as Health and Human Services Secretary, Kathleen Sebelius is speaking out about her five-year stormy tenure in an exclusive interview with NBC's Andrea Mitchell. She's been the public face of the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, a political punching bag for everything that went wrong. She's got bumps, I've got bumps, bruises. 24 hours later, Kathleen Sebelius talked about the rocky rollout. Clearly, the uh, estimate that it was ready to go October 1st was just flat out wrong. How did you feel when the thing crashed? That was uh, very alarming because uh, that took some real diagnostics in terms of what all the problems were. And then an analysis about whether or not it could be fixed. It must have been so frustrating. Oh, it was awful. It was awful. And, um, but all you could do is say, all right, we're going to fix it. Hold me accountable. Along the way, there were delays in the mandate for big businesses, concessions for small businesses, and that famous promise from the president. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. Did the White House oversell it? I don't think they did. I think what we said from the outset was, you know, this was fixing a very broken market. This is Washington, after all. People are asking, were you pushed or did you jump? I also thought that at the end of open enrollment uh, was a logical time to leave. There, there is never a good time. Now, even with the changing of the guard at HHS, the health care issue is still a political lightning rod in the midterm elections. I am doubtful of people who suggest that you're going to see Democratic senators now running to embrace Obamacare in tough states where... Um, it hasn't been popular. And already today in New Hampshire, Republican Senator Ted Cruz. They will tell you that Kathleen Sebelius resigning is a result of Obamacare's success. Well, if that's true, then I hope every Democrat will follow her path and resign as well. And do you have any regrets? If I had a... Um, a magic wand and could go back uh, to mid-September and ask different questions based on what I know now. I thought I was getting the best information from the best experts, but clearly that didn't go well. There are still big challenges ahead for the Affordable Care Act, making sure that people who have signed up pay up and that insurance companies don't raise their rates in November. And Republicans are threatening to use the confirmation of Sebelius's successor, Budget Director Sylvia Burwell, to reopen the fight over Obamacare.